welcome back to another episode of Short Cute Cooking. Today we're doing stuffed cabbage. Who put that on the table? I need this off the fucking table. Today we're doing stuffed cabbage. So, I don't know if everybody watched the video when I defined mise en place. But I want to show you this is what it means. Have everything you need to cook with in arm's reach. That way it goes faster. You don't burn anything. You don't, oh, I forgot this and have to run around the kitchen like you're crazy. So I start off with about a pound and a half of ground beef. Then I do uh, instant rice. And do about a cup. It's about a, two cups at the most. Depending on how much you're making. Then you season it. Do we got shredded cheese in there? Mm. You got to season real good. Ground beef don't hold on the stick. If you don't season ground beef good enough, it's just going to taste like plain meat. So you can be just a little bit heavy handed on the seasoning when it comes to the stuffed cabbage. I got some shredded cheese. Because instead of putting it on, I'm going to mix it in with it this time. Then I add chopped bell peppers and chopped onions. And then I mix it all together with my hands, of course. You can't really mix this with a spoon because you want to incorporate everything in, into the meat and you can't do it with a spoon. You only got taco with this I don't have any, uh, well hand me a couple of those, um, six, I don't have a block of cheese in there. Just hand me a uh, couple of those um, Kobe Jacks, That's like two, three Kobe, two Kobe Jacks and three mozzarella. Now with your cabbage, I... Cut the bottom off. Then I remove the leaves slowly. Thank you. I boil them just a little bit to make them soft. Because if they're still really hard and crunchy, they're hard to roll. Now with your spaghetti sauce, I put a little bit in the bottom of the pan, of my roasting pan first. Or my casserole dish, depending on what you got at the house. So while you're doing this, you can preheat your oven on 275. Okay. Okay, wash my hands. Need for two. I'm already doing a shot. This is how I roll it. They free it on too. See, mm -hmm. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm doing eight. 
This is the recipe. This recipe also can go into the stuffed peppers. So if you want to make the stuffed bell peppers, use the same recipe. Just don't boil the you don't boil the potato peppers first. You just um, take the cap off, stuff them, add the sauce, throw them in, the, cover them up, throw them in the oven. Now depending on what size you make the um the balls that go in this, that goes inside the cabbage. If you're doing them big, they're gonna take about an hour and a half. If you're doing the medium, about an hour. If you're doing a small, it takes about 45 minutes. How do you expect kids to get these things open? Jesus, I'm having a hard time. Oh, really? Come on now. What is it? I got it. Girl, this thing's gonna drive me crazy. I still want. I put the. I'm gonna put the cheese on the inside of my um, meat before I roll it. Open it. But I always put uh, some extra shredded cheese on top. So. Open just one, but not open both. So I put it in the middle. It's like you're doing a stuffed hamburger. Then you roll it. I make mine a little oval so that it'll fit right into the leaf. In order for you to make sure the cheese is not going to seep out, because you don't want it to leak out. And if you don't like cheese, you don't have to use cheese. Jesus, take the wheel. Just take the whole car. Just take the whole car. Right. Now with the smaller leaves, I always make them a little smaller. You got little kids that you want to feed this to just make the balls a little smaller just for them okay I got what two more to go I'm gonna use my syrup in the last two oh shoot Now you will have a lot of extra bell pepper and onion in the bottom of your bowl because it all don't stick to the meat. I just throw it on in the um 
and the last one, which I, I normally always keep the last one because I like bell peppers and onions. Now when I roll it tuck the sides in. Just like you would do with your burrito, but when you put it in a roasting pan or the baking sheet, casserole dish. Well not exactly a baking sheet because you gotta have the sauce on it. You don't want to use a baking sheet because it'll roll it'll um, waste out. So if you do the seam side down when it's cooking, it won't open up. If it tears, don't worry about it. Just roll it in there. The reason I'm pressing it down, so when I roll it, the leaf will stick. So if you cook it longer than like, cook it about five minutes. You don't want to cook it any longer than that because then it'll be too thin. And you won't be able to wrap the meat in it because it's too thin so just five minutes to boil it now if you can't get the leaves off after you cut the bottom part off boil the whole cabbage for five minutes and then <clears throat> then you can it, it's easier to peel the leaves off after that So once you put them all in, cover it with foil, throw it in the oven. You don't have to keep constantly checking on it because it's just going to basically cook itself. <clears throat> put some sauce on the top, add my extra, well it's not want not, so I'm going to add the extra bell peppers and onion that was left in the bowl. Just sprinkle it on top. All this is going to do is bring more flavor to the sauce. Add some sauce to the top. Oil. 
And these will, I will have to, the, the size of these, I will have to bake these for about an hour and a half to make sure that they're done all the way through. And then you plate and eat. Thank you for joining me on short cute cooking. Keep it short, keep it cute, and keep looking.